I finally got it. Probably shouldn't do that. Let's not break the hundred pound palette. So hi, welcome back. How are you? Today we're going to be reviewing the Jeffree Star Cremated Palette. I have been waiting ages for this mofo. I ordered it, I can't even remember, whenever it came out, literally the day it came out, the minute it came out. And it's just, it's just arrived today. So I was like, yes, we need to try this. Quickly, just want to talk about a couple of things and then we will jump straight in because I know that you guys don't want to hear me talk for hours and boring so first things first yes this cost me a hell of a lot of money i think it cost me around i want to say 60 to 65 pounds for the actual palette and shipping <clears throat> even my voice is like what and then to have it put through customs and pay custom taxes it cost me another 20 pounds so this was like an 85 pound palette so this bad boy better be good i haven't brought a Jeffree Star palette before. I am a fan of Jeffree's. I've always wanted his palettes. However, his palettes are normally very, very colorful, which, you know, I don't mind. I'm happy to have them in my collection. I probably use them once or twice. But when I saw this and saw the colors, I was like, yes, now this is my kind of palette. Cremated, the colors, everything. It's a little bit of like what I would class as a miserable bitch palette. It's just me, totally. I'm one of those people that's favorite color is black. I always wear like black clothing, even in summer. So this palette was just perfect for me. And I really made sure I was getting this. I had friends on their phones. I text them. I was like, you need to make sure you are on your phone. I had my laptop, my phone. I literally ordered it. Um, and I remember pressing the button and it was like whirling. And I was like, oh my God, please. Like, let me just get this palette. I haven't got any of the others. Please Lord, let me just get this one and I did. So we're gonna be reviewing it and trying it today. So I've kept it in the packaging because it is just absolutely stunning and we're just gonna open it and jump straight in. Yes, queen. I'm, I'm scared, I'm scared. Oh, hang on, I'm gonna do it with you guys. I just, I'm scared to drop it. I feel like I've got gold in my hand. This is stunning. Like this just looks even better in person than it does online it is absolutely gorgeous so as you can see you have mainly browns grays to be fair they're grays they're different shades of grays there's a couple of glitters they are mostly matte though but there are some glitters and i believe i remember jeffrey saying about using one of these for highlights so i'm gonna try and do as many of the colors as possible so i'm gonna do two different eye looks as always because i like you guys to actually see you know whether these palettes are good, they're expensive, are they worth your money, are they not, blah, blah. So let's get you zoomed in. I'm going to try and keep my annoying eyelashes out of the way as much as possible for you guys that want to come for me about my lashes. So I'm going to do two different looks. So I'm going to start off by taking Paul Bearer. I'll put all the colours um, here so you can see one of these sides. Paul Bearer, which is just like a metallic sort of glittery colour. I think it's, oh, it's actually a glitter. So I just want to see what this press is on like. Okay. Oh, that's so pretty. It's like a gray silver glitter, almost with like a hint of blue, but it's very slight hint of blue. It's definitely more of a gray. I haven't put any primer on either because I like to just try and use them without primers. I would always put an eyeshadow primer on, but I mean, if we're really gonna see the real tea and see if these are actually any good, we need to like not use a primer, am I right? You don't wanna be giving this guy any help. Let's just make sure he's actually good first. So let's do like a dark eye and a light eye. I think that's gonna be the best way to go. So I'm gonna go, oh my God, there's a spider on the floor. Sir, please leave. I'm gonna go in with the color Solemnly Swear. I love these names. Oh my God, guys, these are so pigmented. I hardly, just put anything on there. Do you see how pigmented that is? I've dipped in like twice, not even twice. And look at that bad boy. A bit of fallout, nowhere near as bad as, you know, you would, um, it's definitely acceptable, an acceptable amount of fallout. So on this lid section here, I'm gonna go in with Angel of Death, because like I said, I'm just trying to get as many of these colors in for you guys as possible. This is another sort of chunkyish glitter. I'm not as chunky as this one. It's kind of like a black eyeshadow, a very dark eyeshadow with almost silvery blue pigment in. I 
I can't actually really explain the texture of these. It's kind of strange. It's like a little bit, it's, I don't know. Not so good. So you can see this is, we're going, we're going dark. We're going in. I want to try these dark colors. So I'm actually going to go in now with Inheritance, which is like an off gray. It's almost like a brown gray. I'm just going to pop that up here just to blend the rest of that eye out. And like I say, it's just an off gray more of a brown grey as opposed to a blue toned grey. They blend really, really nicely. Really easy to use, really easy to blend out as you can see. There's a little bit of fallout again, but it's nothing, you know, terrible. I certainly would not buy it, but the pigment and the actual look of the colour is absolutely stunning. Let's take that black. Let's just take a little bit of that black and I'm just gonna kind of use that right in the corner. It would just, it would feel wrong if we don't take it. It's called Hearse. It's just the um, amount of pigment that I can't get over. They're just so pigmented. I mean, I'm hardly touching this and it's like the pigment is just jumping out at me. The colours are very smoky. So yeah, you could definitely do a like dramatic smoky eye with this as I've kind of done here. I mean, this is very dramatic. So I'm just going to put... A highlight. Should we do that at the end? No, let's do a highlight. So I'm going to take the colour Diamond Ashes, which is just a really gorgeous silvery colour. Oh, I was not expecting that. Okay. Super pigment though. Do you see that? Look at that. And then I'm just going to take the colour RIP and just do that under the eye. And again, this is just like a dark grey. So that is the first eye. What do we think? Do we like? Do we like? I think that is like so pretty. And again, the colors are just so pigmented. Diamond Ashes color, which is the color I'm just putting in this corner here, is just so pretty and like really, really pigmented as well. So on this side, let's do a little bit more of a everyday chilled kind of vibe. So I'm gonna take the color Last Respects. And I'm just going to pop that in the crease. And this colour actually looks a lot more grey on the eye. In the, pan, in the pan, it's sort of like a brown grey. But when you actually put it on your eye, it is more of like a soft kind of muted grey. That makes any sense at all. And then on the lid, I'm going to take Balmed, which is a grey with almost a little bit of glitter in. So I'm just going to pop that straight on the lid. And again, so far so good. Like these are super pigmented. So then I'm going to go over the top with the colour Goodbye. I just want to top that up on here. Add a little bit of shimmer. It's not a lot different to the colour I just put on. The only difference is it, it's got a little bit more shimmer in. Most pigmented eyeshadow palette I've ever had 100%. If you're concerned about the pigment payoff of these, it's fantastic. I'm going to take the shade The Morgue. So The Morgue is like a brown. Probably the, is it the most brown in the palette? No, the most brown in the palette I'm going to use in a second. But this is definitely more, again, of a brown shade as opposed to being purely grey. Still got the grey tone in. Don't get me wrong, they all do. But it's definitely got more of a brownie grey kind of shade to it. Then I'm going to take the colour Inheritance. So this, this is very brown. This one. So I'm just going to pop that right in the crease of the eye. Just to darken that all up, blend it together. I'm going to take Mausoleum, Mo Mausoleum, because it's like reaching out to me. I just want to take a little bit of this. This is like a brown with, you know, a very sheer glitter in. I'm just going to pop that on the lid of this one, just at the very edge. Just to give it a little sparkle, a little something, something. Okay, and then the last colour that I'm going to use, because I think I've used quite a lot of them now to be fair is grave digger which is just jumping out of me it's like a gorgeous deep gray the thing i love about this palette and 
that I just love about all palettes like this is the fact that you can do so much with them. And that was kind of my thinking when I purchased this palette because I thought, you know, you could, if you just want it more casual, more of a daytime muted look, you could just put on, for example, just one of the shades of grey, 50 shades of grey. And, you know, you're good to go. But if you also want to do something like this, like a glam nighttime look, you've got your blacks, you've got your silvers, like there's everything in there that you'd need to do that smoky eye. But again, if you just want to keep it neutral, there are some, you know, brown kind of greys, there's some greys. You've got everything you need in there to do both. Really pigmented. I know I keep saying that, but I just want to stress. The only thing I would say is there is a bit of fallout and I'm finding it hard to actually get rid of. So I would maybe recommend doing your foundation last if you're going to use this palette don't do your foundation first because as you can see um it's it definitely sticks to the skin which isn't a bad thing but yeah it's difficult to kind of get rid of the other kind of shimmering color in this palette is afterlife which is absolutely gorgeous i feel like this would just be the perfect highlight color and I was right, this would be gorgeous. What should we try? I know I've got highlight on, but should we just try this right now? I remember seeing in one of Jeffrey's posts, he said about using this as a highlight. And I feel like he's not wrong. After all, he created the palette, so he should know, right? <laughs> Again, I know I've got highlight on, but I'm just kind of experimenting at this point. I mean, I haven't got to go anywhere today, so it doesn't matter if I look crazy. That is a glow. Wow. So for under this eye, again, I want to keep it quite a daytime look. So I'm going to take the shade Eulogy and just take a little bit of that. It's it's still a, you know, decent pigmented color. Okay, so these are the two finished looks. So as I say, we've got a nighttime one, which is probably my favorite one, to be honest. Love a crazy smoky eye. And then on this eye, I've kind of just done like a more muted smoky eye, um, just in case you wanted to see, you know, the versatility of this palette. But yeah, overall, I think this is awesome. Again, really pigmented. As you saw, the colors are mainly gray and brown and there's two main highlight colors, but you do also have some glitters in there. The fallout in the pan is not too bad. However, when you apply it on the eye, there is quite a bit of fallout as you saw. So definitely use this first before applying foundation because I really struggled to get it off. Like you can see, my beauty blender is not pretty and it's took off half my foundation. So yeah, definitely do this first before doing the rest of your makeup. But yeah, I definitely approve. This is absolutely stunning. If you are into greys or muted colors, then this is for you. I would definitely use this again and do more looks with this. I think you got it like dead on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have tried the palette, let me know. What are your thoughts? What do you think about it? Have you got any of the other Jeffree Star palettes? Would you recommend any other products to me? And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.